Let's discuss the daily challenge problem and the problem says that find the value of product of k equal to 1 to 100 1 plus 2 cosine 2 pi 3 to the power k by 3 to the power 100 plus 1. So to start with uh, let us assume that this particular part pi into 3 to the power k by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 this whole quantity to be equal to um, theta k because it is a function of k. So let us analyze this particular term 1 plus 2 cos 2 theta k. Okay. So this is the term that is uh, continuously getting multiplied. Now we can analyze this particular term as 1 plus 2 into cos 2 theta k can be written as 1 minus 2 sine square theta k according to the multiple angle formula and so it will come out to be 3 minus 4 sine square theta k and you can easily see that if we multiply and divide by sine theta k so this will become 3 sine theta k minus 4 sine cube theta k whole divided by sine theta k so basically in the numerator we are getting a multiple angle formula of sine 3 theta k divided by sine theta k okay so this is the compact representation of the term now you can see that uh, the representation of theta k uh, if we go on putting k equal to 1 2 3 like that so you can see that theta 1 comes out to be pi into 3 divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 and uh, theta 2 will become 3 square into pi divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 so in this way basically you can see that the power of 3 will gradually increase so we can easily claim that theta 2 is going to be 3 times theta 1 theta 3 is going to be 3 times theta 2 and so on like that so basically now our problem becomes continuous product of sine 3 theta k divided by sine theta k where k is varying from 1 to 100 so you can see that we are getting a telescopic product here because uh, this is becoming sine 3 theta 1 divided by sine theta 1 putting k equal to 1 into sine 3 theta 2 divided by sine theta 2 putting k equal to 2 into sine 3 theta 3 divided by sine theta 3 and in this way this continuous product will terminate at sine 3 theta 100 divided by sine theta 100. Now we can see that theta 2 is 3 theta 1. Since theta 2 is 3 theta 1, so these sign gets cancelled out. Similarly, this will be cancelled out. This will be cancelled out. So you can see that finally this sign uh, sine theta 100 will be cancelled out to give us a final uh, value of this product to be sine 3 theta 100 divided by sine theta 1. So now we can see that the product of the series is coming out to be sine 3 theta 100 so it will come out to be 3 to the power 101 pi divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 divided by sine pi divided by 3 to the power sorry sine 3 pi divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 because according to the repre representation of theta k, so we have taken this to be theta k. So putting k equal to 100 out there and putting k equal to 1 out there, um, we are getting this representation. Now between the numerator sign and the denominator sign, if we closely analyze, the numerator sign is nothing but sine 3 pi minus 3 pi divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 okay we can simplify it in this way 
and uh, divided by sine 3 pi divided by 3 to the power 100 plus 1 so finally we are getting a structure like this sine 3 pi minus alpha divided by sine alpha and as you know that sine 3 pi minus alpha is nothing but sine alpha so in the numerator sine alpha and the denominator sine alpha it will be cancelled out to give us a numerical answer that is a 1 so the answer of this particular problem will be 1